It's a prime! It's a prime computer! Just tell me why you want to buy one! Hello and welcome back to the Doctor Who Marathon. I'm your host McGeedam and today we're going to be talking about the prime computer advertisements um, released around about 8081. Uh, these are actually um, commercials in which Tom Baker and Lala Ward reprised their roles as the fourth Doctor and Romana um, to appear in adverts to promote Prime Computers, a revolutionary new computer system back in the 1980s. And um, I wasn't going to originally uh, talk about these. I mean, in my own personal marathon, I've been watching a lot of like these like clips from adverts and little sketches where the actors appear as characters and stuff. But I haven't really talked about them. But I really wanted to talk about uh, this one for just because it's just a lot of fun, and I think a lot of people will get an enjoyment out of this. Um, for one, it has Tom Baker at his most, uh, one of his most erratic, as he's just speaking incredibly fast, um, as Tom Baker can. Um, and they're really short, there's, like four, there's only four of them, and they're each about a minute long, 20, 20 seconds long, maybe. Um, but... Yeah, they're a lot of fun and a lot of um, um, intriguing. Now, the first two um, has the Doctor in his original costume. Um, when the, the Doctor goes into um, uh, into the TARDIS, it starts off a bit more uh, a bit more casual. Uh, when the Doctor goes in, we have a a room that we've never seen before, in which it's just com a completely white void. And you have a prime computer. And the doctor's talking about how excited he is that he's got one. Um, and he mentions that they also have prime computers on Gallifrey. So um, this is really revolutionary technology. Of course, watching these in 2020, it is really hilarious how out of date <laughs> these computers are. Um, they make a joke about how long the, do the doctor's scarf is. Um, to which Romana doesn't think it's that impressive. And uh, the Doctor mentions that it's got, uh, tw I believe it was 12 computer programs and uh, five languages to talk to other computers. So it's very high, um, high evolved. And the thing about it as well is that the computer talks. So Prime Computer is a Doctor Who companion. Officially confirmed. It's canon. <laughs> I mean, that's just a really fun, um, um, a fun little nod. In the second advert, um, the Romana actually explains that um, the entire universe is going to explode unless they can calculate all the names of every planet in the constellation of Casturbrus. Um, and the Doctor does it with Prime and he counts with Romana, speeding her up. She goes at five, four, three, two, and the, and the computer does it and um, sets up and saves the day. So it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. It's they're really short. They're really uh, sweet um, scenes. They're, they're nothing um, deep or anything. I mean, it's an advert, but I just really wanted to talk about them. Now, the first two, like I mentioned, has the Doctor in his uh, classic um, grey coat. However, uh, what's important for us, and this is the reason why I wanted to talk about it, at least in terms of chronological ordering, is that um, this is actually the first appearance of the Doctor's um, red costume, which he uses at the, uh, throughout season 18, Tom Baker's final season. So, from my chronological point of view, this is the first time he wears that costume. And... Um, and it just looks really cool and it's very striking. Um, and just the way the scarf like holds over his his neck make, gives off a much more older feeling than, than his previous costumes. Basically, you can feel the pre that this is the fourth Doctor at the end of his life. He was going to regenerate soon. Um, and I just really like the 80s costume. Maybe I'll talk about it more in Ledger's Hive. But for now, that's what I think. The costume, I just really love this costume. 
I don't know who writes these. It's n they're not credited on the TARDIS wiki, uh, which is where I use most of my sources from. And it doesn't even name a director, but these are actually very well shot advertisements, which uh, makes them more memorable than just um, just having a Doctor Who actor just spout around acting like the Doctor. Um, in the first advert, um, the, in the third advert, I should say, um, the Doctor's talking to Romana about how he loves his new computer. Um, and, and he's like, and Romana's like cuddling on to him, um, which, which is another reason why I wanted to talk about this in chronological, in a chronological, uh, because I consider this canon. Um, it's heavily implied here that Romana and the Doctor are in a relationship. I personally like that. I know a lot of people don't. I know a lot of people think that the Doctor's like, a, like an asexual character and we shouldn't see him in a relationship. Um, especially the Doctor, the Doctor said, uh, not Doctor, especially Tom Baker. Tom Baker has said that um, his incarnation of the Doctor is asexual. But here with Romana cuddling up to him and the joke at the end of this, this particular episode um, heavily implies they're in a relationship as Romana's kind of like snuggling towards him and uh, the Doctor's just like spouting, you know, just being like, you know, oh, I love this, I love this, you can do this, that, this and that. And Romana asks um, the Doctor to ask it how to treat a woman. And the Prime Computer says, um, marry the girl. And the Doctor then proposes to Romana, it's like, will you marry me? Yes. Oh dear. Oh Prime. You could say that again. Oh Prime. I love that. I love that little um, scene. So from this point of view, um, the Doctor and Romana are engaged. And why wouldn't you want that canon? Um, I mean, I like Romana and I think the, her and the Doctor have a relationship with it because she is a Time Lord and she does spend a lot of time with the Doctor and you do feel like um, they are very close in terms of the stories that they're in, or at least for the moment we'll get on to when she starts leaving later on in the in the marathon. But here it's clearly that the Doctor and Romana are a couple and that the Doctor is engaged. So the first person, the Doctor, we see on screen. Oh wait, I tell a lie. Romana's the second woman to be um, engaged to the Doctor. The first one was the the woman from the Aztecs, who I can't remember the name of at the moment. That's really bad. <laughs> and then the fourth and final one, or at least in terms of my knowledge anyway, uh, the wiki is confusing because in the TARDIS wiki um, it's probably a mistake, so it might even be corrected by the time you watch this. Um, it says one bit of it, it says there's five episodes, but most of the rest of the article talks about oh, there's only four. So, um, I don't know, maybe there's another fifth one that maybe was made or um, is like lost or something, I don't know. But anyway, the last one that we're going to talk about anyway has uh, Romana kidnapped by um, these creatures and they're trying to get the Doctor to tell them where they could buy a prime computer. And the Doctor because they kidnap, uh, kidnap Romana, uh, tries to work out where, what these creatures are, and he uses the prime computer, and he discovers that they are from Lopagotagus, uh, to which the aliens are like, well done, you figured out where we live. However, the only way you could figure that out is with a prime computer. So now we know you've got one. And the dark topic is like, damn it. <laughs> and... Uh, they're about to kill Romana, and then the Doctor shouts at the Prime computer, um, uh, Tom Baker with the top of his lungs, and it turns out the creatures just want to buy one because they just really like technology. And as soon as that, as soon as the Doctor tells them, Romana actually comes back, appearing back into this mysterious TARDIS room, and the Doctor puts his arm around Romana and is like, um, "Oh, they're just um, some very enthusiastic customers." And uh, yeah, that's the uh, Prime Computer adverts. Overall, they are just a lot of just a little fun advertisements. A lot of people I don't think would get enjoyment out of them. I personally really do. I personally consider them canon. There's nothing that really spouts out 
I mean, K9's not there, but K9 could just be in the console room being the one flying the, the bloody TARDIS, so who knows? Um, so yeah, they're all, they're all on YouTube. I could probably put a link at the bottom if you want to check them out. Um, they're also on the DVD of Destiny of the Daleks, I believe. So if you've got Destiny of the Daleks, you can actually watch these adverts um, in probably the best quality you can find. Uh, so there you go. So join me next time where we will go into audio drama territory. Um, the, we will actually kick off like the feel and the motif of season 18, Tom Baker's last season. And we set off in Victorian London, um, Edwardian London, sorry. And we will be reunited again with two very old friends of the Doctor. So join me next time for The Beast of Kravalos. See you next time on the Doctor Who Marathon. Ta-da!